There you are. Nut, what do you want? Smack you in the mouth because of Ivy. You really think you can? You asshole. I'll finish you off. Well then, let's fight. I'll turn you into a sheep. Stop. Stop. You win. Leave Ivy alone. Do you understand? Yes. Sure, yes. I'll leave her alone. So how can I help you? With a grin like that on your face, Gromar must have given you his blessing. That he did. Then let me in on it. Ivy wants to go with me to Argan. There is a war going on, my friend. That's no place for lovers. When you started to teach me, you promised to bring me to Argan one day. Back then, you were going to travel alone. Now Ivy wants to accompany you. You are a good teacher. I am absolutely capable of protecting her. You are able to protect her? <laughs> Prove it. I defeated you in a duel and killed the goblins, remember? I was nice enough to let you win, and the goblins were just goblins. In a real fight, you wouldn't have much of a chance. So prove to me that you can protect Ivy, and I'll take both of you to Argan. Do you want to fight me again? No. I have a bundle of rare herbs here for Lyrka. Take it to her. You want me to go to Lyrka? The witch? I... I'd have to cross the dark forest. They say the wildest animals on the island live there. You don't have to go. You can stay on Fesher with Ivy and herd sheep. Give me the bundle. I'll take it to Lyrka. All right, here you are. And here's a key, too. Use it to open the door at the end of my cave. Go east until you find a path. Follow it to the northwest. It will lead you to Lyrka's hut.
afraid of Lyrica, the witch from the dark forest. <laughs> I'm not afraid. Might be, might not be. My nose is telling me. Might be. Diego sent me. Yes, I know. <laughs> I bring you herbs. Give them to me. Here are the herbs. I'll leave then. Leave? No. You aren't here just because of the herbs. Diego didn't mention anything else. Didn't he, eh? But he promised he'd send you. Yes, he surely did. Why would he? <laughs> because I asked him to. You? Why? Because I sensed something right after they found you. Something that must be awakened. You said you sensed something right when they found me. What did you mean by that? Alma isn't your mother. Yes, she is. I'm positive. <laughs> no, she's not. Found you on the beach after a stormy night. She did. I don't believe you. Mm, ask her when you get back to the village. Sensed. Something that must be awakened. I don't understand any of this. Something slumbers in your chest. Some power. Some magic power. <laughs> Nothing I know of. Yes, yes. I can sense it. It must only be awakened. How? Just close your eyes. Good. I trust you. See, I'm... I'm... Closing my eyes. Yes. That's very good. Awake again. How long have I been sleeping? Oh, a couple of hours. What? Awakening of magic takes its time. Can I cast spells now? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe only make use of magical scrolls. Where are we here? In a cave, under the dark forest. I... I know this cave. From your dreams? Yes, that's right. <laughs> what are we doing here? Want to do me a favor? A favor? Lone vermin are everywhere in this cave. Loads of them, eh? Steel alone won't suffice if you're planning on killing them all. Lone vermins retract into their shells, just like turtles. <laughs> but you can prevent that using lightning, eh? With lightning? Here. <laughs> Take this magical scroll. Kill the lone vermin. <laughs> they make my trees sick. And don't forget the queen. All right, I won't. If you don't have any more scrolls, come to me. I will give you new ones. <laughs> but don't you waste them.
What do you intend to do now? Avenge myself upon Robar the Third and his cursed paladins. You wouldn't know a sword from a toothpick. They'd mince you. You want Ivy's death to go unavenged? And what about that of my mother? And my friends? No, but what if there was a way to avenge yourself without storming right into your death? Hmm. Let's hear it. It is said that there is an ancient temple somewhere in the mountains. They say there is a blessed anvil there. Robar's paladins search for the temple because they want to use the anvil to forge weapons for their campaign against Argan. I see. And I should interfere with their plans. Exactly. And if the anvil really does exist, forge yourself something to speed your vengeance. Where should I start looking for the temple? On the hill back there, in the Cleaved Maiden Tavern. You'll find a mage by the name of Duranis there. He knows a lot of the old stories. Talk to him. Maybe he'll have heard of the temple. Will you join me? No. You need to learn to stand on your own two feet. I'll be sailing on to Stuart. When you arrive in Stuart, talk to the landlord at the Cliff Tavern. He'll know where to find me. How do you know about the Paladin's plans? When I was still at Robar's court, I always kept a watchful eye on Lord Hagen and his men. And many a maid servant of the Paladin's kept an ear open for me. So who is this Lord Hagen? He commands the Paladin's and is a member of Robar's High Council. Hey, I don't know you. How'd you get in here? By boat, from Fesher. And you expect me to believe that? Look at the beach down there. That's my boat. <laughs> I'll let you through. But if you cause any trouble, you'll have us woodcutters to deal with. Got it? I'm looking for Duranus. Where can I find him? In the pub or in his room. You best ask Murdra. She'll know where he's at. Murdra? The landlady here. Just go in. You'll see her. Ah, a new guy. Who let you in here? One of the woodcutters from the farm. Just so you know, normally I decide who comes in. I know. I'll have to deal with the woodcutters. Right. Don't you forget that. I'm looking for Duranus. A noble man? Really think he'd receive a bloke like you, would he? We'll see. Just tell me where I can find him. Sitting upstairs in his room, our noble man is. Reading what he always does. I even got to bring his food up to him, I have. Go up the stairs and out onto the balcony. Then turn right. That's where his room is. And they burned down Fesher, too. And it doesn't get any better.
Are you Duranus? Yes. What do you want? I'm searching for an ancient temple up in the mountains. Yes, I heard about a temple up there. Where exactly? Don't know, but there is an archive of old maps in the fortress at Silver Lake. If ever there was a place to find a clue, it's there. So how do I get to Silver Lake? Not at all, at the moment. Brigands have occupied the bridge to Stuwick, but the people here are trying to think of a way to deal with the brigands. Help them. Perhaps they'll help you. Who's working on the brigand problem here? Murdra, the landlady here, I'm sure. And I think Rorter has a plan too. Rorter? A guild fighter. He was here just a moment ago, making vague insinuations about secret negotiations with some of the brigands. Where's Rorter now? He's headed for the old Sederifian watchtower, to the south of here on the beach. What are you doing here? I thought mages hang around the monastery all day long. <laughs> Some do, indeed. I, however, am on my way by order of Grandmaster Milton. He has expressed great interest in the ancient stone circles scattered throughout Argain. And have you discovered anything about the stone circles? So far, only that they drive me insane. The Grand Master discovered a way to awaken their power. But all the circles I've found so far are immune to my magic. Hmm, I have a feeling someone's beaten us to the punch. What happens when a stone circle... awakens? Apparently, the circles are connected. If one could establish a connection to one of the circles, it should be possible to travel instantly to it from another circle. We experimented with two circles in Thorny Ara, but nothing's working here. Well, if you're curious, there's one not far from the Cleaved Maiden. That's the Sederifians, do. Did you go see our noble man, then? Yes. He suggested that I should lend a hand to the people around here. How are things with you? Anything I can do for you? Hmm, why not? You look like a big, strong lad, you do. What do you want me to do? I'm starting to run out of mead, and it'll be a while till the next supply comes. I see. You want me to get some for you? From Garve, one of the woodcutters. He must have a few barrels left. Would you get me two? I'll go to Garve and get you the mead. Ah, the guests will be pleased about that. And so will I. Where can I find Garve? Out through the gate, then down the path to the right, past the old watchtower. That's where his hut is. What do you want? Get lost! Nobody's getting through here! What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be watching out. Because of murderer. Are you a friend of murderers? No. Will you let me through? I don't know. No. Otherwise, Dark Channel will be disappointed. <laughs> 